Um, so we're going to the Ironstone Reserve Zinn and set my second intensive visit here in Lodi. Um, the east-west thing is really becoming blatantly clear. Uh, there's, there's probably a middle too. Eventually there'll probably be a east, a west, and a center Lodi. Sure. And there's a lot of uh, that's a lot of Lodi pride involved there as well. Depending on where you are, the east is better, the west is better. But can you talk a little bit about, and, and let's talk specifically about Zinfandel, how Zin changes from east to west. This is applicable, of course, for for all most varieties. But I think it, it mostly comes up in the discussions of Zinfandel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think it's interesting because you know there's there's some friendly rivalry, as you as you mentioned, between the east side, west side. But but what it really does for me shows that that Zinfandel can pick up very different qualities depending upon the soils and and a little bit of the climatic differentiations differentiations that exist between the east and west side, and really what what is expressed in in the fruit uh, that ultimately makes the wines. You know, the, the east side folks will tell you that they are able to get these much more robust flavors and these darker uh, expressions of Zinfandel. The, the west side might be a little bit lighter expression of Zinfandel. Um, but I think what's interesting... Lighter is, being a relative term. Lighter being it's a relative term. It's still Lodi. <laughs> it's still Lodi, but you know, I think I think that's, that's the beauty and, and what I think a lot of people may think of Zin when they think of Lodi Zinfandel, they think of one thing and they think of the big fruit bombs. But but realistically Zinfandel is is one of the most versatile versatile grapes that I can think of as far as in winemaking. I mean you can make a full range of different styles of Zinfandel, everything from lighter, elegant, pretty Zinfandels all the way through those big, rich, robust, fruity wines that a lot of people really like. And so it's very, very versatile. And that east-west kind of divide, while it's a friendly rivalry, really provides folks who are looking for different kinds of Zinfandels a wide range uh, of platforms to, to taste. Yeah. But uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention is, is the old vine uh, concept. And, and that is that is something that is definitely um, part of our heritage here. You know, old vine, there's no term that regulates what old vine is. And, and some folks may say that 25-year-old vines or 30-year-old vines may constitute old, uh, but around here that's so far from the truth. Um, when we say old vine and, and our old vines in, we, we really mean old vines. Yeah. They're 75, 80, century, 100-year-old. <coughs> yeah, I mean, we were in earlier this week, we were in a sense of vineyard that's 133 years old. And today at Kirschman's we were surrounded by eight, I think, eight, in, in within the line of sight, eight actual old vine, 80, 90, 100 year old vine uh, vineyards. And the Kirschman, yeah, most of that corridor is 100 years old, between 1913 and 1917 planting. And still producing beautiful, beautiful wines. Yes. Yeah. And, and you look at that, uh, that, that east-west divide is, is uh, it's a generalization. Right. Because you really can look at pockets of areas that produce different flavor profiles. And you can do this with other varieties as well. And in fact, one of the benefits of having larger wineries in the area is that you have a, a consistent winemaking style with a winemaker who can bring in Chardonnays or Sauvignon Blancs from the entire district and start pinpointing in an aroma wheel what areas of Lodi might give more peach or might give a little more pineapple or might give a little more grassiness. And it's a very interesting thing, the amount of knowledge that these larger wineries hold and how they might want to look at where they buy their fruit for their wine style. Or where you might want to plant. So that's a really yeah. interesting observation.